Mike, what you up to today? Today we're going back down to the garden, have some bad news. We need to take a look at the bush beans. Um, I have not had uh, success this year with the bush beans. I'm having some problems with the rabbits. So we need to go down there. Let me show you what's going on and we'll try to come up with a plan of what we can do about the uh, bush beans. Here we are down at the bush beans. And as you know, I had put hoops and bird netting over the uh, bush beans in hopes in keeping out the rabbits. Well, I've been unsuccessful with keeping the rabbits out, as you can tell. You can see the foliage on the bush beans have been chewed away. So the bird netting was a failure. The uh, rabbits just chew through it, or they just shoot right underneath that netting. I don't, they're just, I can't keep them out. So, you can see up this row, how they have, oh, I'll walk up the row, and you can see how they have really chewed up a lot of beans, the plants. I still have some. I'd say probably about half of them are, half the plants have been eaten. So, not so much up this at the top of the row, but they're, they're getting up there too. So I think I'm really, I think I'm just going to leave them. I think I'm going to leave the beans. Obviously, I'm not going to expect to harvest much, if anything. I don't, I want, I hate to leave a, a garden row with nothing in it. So I'm going to leave the beans in there, see if I can get anything from it. If not, I'll come up with a plan and see what we'll plant in there. Go ahead and put in that row. But I still want beans. So what I'm thinking about doing is over here on my raised bed. Remember I was planning to put uh, lettuce and some uh, more radish in here. So I think I'm going to punt on the lettuce because we know that the lettuce does pretty good in the shade in the planters that I've used earlier this year. So I think I'm going to continue to put lettuce in pots and I'm going to use this area for bush beans. Obviously I'm not going to get a ton of bush beans, you know, but I'm going to plant them in there super thick. It's up off the ground. Uh, the rabbits aren't able to get in here. So I'm going to give this a shot. And uh, if this works, if I can keep the rabbits out, which obviously, I mean, they're not getting the carrots. They haven't got the radish. I may have to build another raised bed if I want bush beans here at my house. And uh, that's probably how I'm going to have to do it. I think anything that the rabbits enjoy eating, I'm going to have to build a raised bed. So everything else I have in the garden, the rabbits are not interested in. I thought, you know, just having one item in the garden, the bush beans, I could keep them out. But there's, I can't keep them out. So I'm just going to have to come up with another plan and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, plant bush beans over here in this raised bed. We're going to give that a shot and I'll plant uh, a smaller quantity of radish probably right here next to the carrots because they like the shade anyway. The, the, the radish I think will do fine. So we're going to put radish right there on probably, I don't know, maybe plant a hundred or so radish right there. 
they don't take a lot of room. And the rest of this space, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, bush beans. So I thought I'd give you an update on what's going on with the bush beans. Just like uh, anybody else's garden, there's failure, there's success, and obviously the rabbits are beating me. And sometimes you just have to give in to God's little creatures and just say, okay, I gotta come up with another plan. So if I want beans, I'm gonna have to elevate them, put them in a raised bed. So gang, I'm going to go ahead and plant some bush beans and we'll follow up with those and see how they do. And, uh, well, it's all about exp exper experimentation, right? So we'll give it a shot. Thanks for watching and we'll come back in a couple days and we'll see how this thing goes. Thanks a lot for watching.